Um, my video today is um, a kind of my topic that I wanted to talk about came to me just a couple of you know an hour ago. I, I was scrolling through Tumblr and I happened to you know click on a link and there was an it led me to a pro Anna a pro Mia uh, blog. And I kind of just wanted to talk about that sort of topic for today because it kind of hit me today just how many people, you know, how many of those accounts there are um, and how many, <clears throat> basically if you don't know um, what pro -ana and pro is, it, it stands for pro-anorexia and pro-bulimia. And basically, it's where a person who the person who is running that uh, account will encourage um, whoever you know uh, finds it um, to have to to do destructive things to their body through food and those kind of things. For example, they will say if you eat more than two hundred calories, uh, you need to throw up, or if you eat more than five hundred calories, you need to go for a ten mile run. Uh, they will, they will, you know, ridiculously, ridiculous things like that, um, and I think it's disgusting that people do that. I mean, besides maybe the fact that they are sick themselves, because a lot of people that do that are, I just think it's terrifying and disgusting that anybody would want to encourage an eating disorder onto another person. Um, and I think it's it's things like that that have um, had the effect on eating disorders that that we have today. Like uh, people, I mean, they, they eating disorders have been glamorized to the point where people are actually beginning to want to have them. You know, a, a couple of months ago, a girl she was only eleven or twelve wrote in my ask on Tumblr, and she said to me. Uh, can you? I, I feel fat. Can you give me um, ex tips on how to be anorexic? And I think I, I read that message and I cried because it's horrible that people are thinking now. People are being led to believe that having an eating disorder is a good thing and it's a good idea. Um, you know, people people are turning to eating disorders as a way of losing weight. Well, you know, most eating disorders uh, are a way of losing weight. Um, they're turning to them as a diet, and they're not. They're not. You know, an eating disorder is not a diet. It's not a way of losing weight. You know, you can't just become anorexic for a few days. You know, anorexia is a mental illness, and you know you can't just go on an anorexic diet because. You know, there's no such thing, really. Um, and I, I just think the way that eating disorders are seen today is almost as though they're good things. And it, for anybody who has an eating disorder or who has been through an eating disorder, you will all agree that it's not a good thing in the slightest. You know, an eating disorder is nothing but hell, I think, for anybody. You know, and I don't think it's something that you can just recover from, you know, it lasts, in my opinion, it lasts forever, you know, you're never going to be completely normal again. And um, I guess the point of this video is just to try and get that point across to anybody who, you know, thinks that anorexia or bulimia or any kind of eating disorder is a way a good thing, you know, and I just want to say before I start the fact that uh, I know how annoying it is to have somebody tell you things that they have absolutely no clue about, and I know, you know, I would, I would hate anybody who has not been through an eating disorder to tell me how I should live my life, but the thing is, I have been through it, and I know what it's like, you know, ever since the age of 10 or 11, I've been eating disordered and I was diagnosed with anorexia when I was 11 years old and ever since then I've been on a constant you know therapy treatment you know the whole cycle and I've, I've not <clears throat> I don't believe me personally will ever recover from this cycle that I'm stuck in but I just I wanted to say that first because I wanted 
you to know that I do understand what it's like and I have lived with this for a while and I don't want you to think that I'm just telling you, you know, something, a lot of bullshit that I don't understand. Um, and I guess the thing, the main point I wanted to make today is what you read uh, about eating disorders on those pro sites and pro sites is lies you know they will tell you that it's a good thing they will tell you that it's good that you're starving they will tell you that it makes you strong because you're starving they will tell you that throwing up makes you a better person you know all sorts of things like that and it's not true none of it is true you know the reality of an eating disorder is that you could die you know these these things they take lives um you know, they ruin people's, you know, for example, if you are anorexic and you are severely anorexic, you can become infertile. And even in the future, if you were to, co- to recover and become a healthy weight, you would never be able to have children, you know, because of what you've done to yourself. You know, there are girls who starve so long that they have the bones of a 60 year old woman at 16 years old, you know, because their bones are so weak and brittle and they could just break you know, and you feel dizzy all the time, weak, lethargic, you know, people pass out, even the heart failure, you know, ridiculous things like that are because, as a result of anorexia, and I think that people need to realise, you know, the physical effects, but also the mental and the, you know, the, the effects that it can have on your everyday life, because once an eating disorder takes hold, it's not just you you're destroying, you know, you are destroying every single person who's in your close, you know, uh, circle of friends or family. Because I think the worst part for me uh, about living with an eating disorder is the fact that it tears my family apart, you know. Y- you might think that you are so secretive and nobody knows and, you know, but people notice these things, you know. You can't live with an eating disorder and nobody notice. You might think that you, you are, but you aren't, you know, and it will tear your family apart. And if you want any single chance of being a, a, a close, strong, perfect family, you need to stop, you know, before it's too late. Um, you know, just simple things like Christmas and, you know, birthdays now for us as a family we can't do any of those things because of my eating disorder and I feel terrible that I have ruined my family so much um, and I think it's not you know it, it is not just your family your friends as well uh, because I know that one of my friends before she met me I, I don't think she had any issues with food and since you know we've been really close she's developed an eating disorder too and, you know, living with that thought that maybe it was my fault that she can't live a normal life anymore, I can't even explain how much that hurts. Um, and I just, I wish that, you know, somebody could tell these girls or boys that think that it is a good idea, you know, before they get too deep. You know, I wish someone had been there to tell me to stop to tell me that it was not worth it, you know, to have maybe tried so hard and got me to listen to them. Um, And I just, people just do not understand what they're getting into uh, in the first place. They just, you know, they think it's just going to help. They think it's going to make them happier and thinner and prettier and it make them more popular. And I think a couple of weeks in, you realise that that is not, that is not happening and by that point it's already too late to turn back um, and I think it's just it's scary really that people are so uh, used to seeing things you know in the media and stuff like that about eating disorders and how they are see- almost seen as a good thing um, you know even you know young really young girls you know I saw a TV show uh, and there was a group of six-year-old girls 
and they were shown 3D images of themselves. There was a real one, uh, one that was three sizes bigger and one that was three sizes smaller. And they all looked at the big picture of themselves and said that that was them. They all saw themselves as being bigger than they already are. And then when they asked, they were asked which one they wanted to look like, they all wanted to be underweight. They all liked the skinny one better. And I think those girls are six years old. And if the way we see ourselves and the way eating disorders are portrayed is having that much of an effect on a six-year-old girl, you know, what hope do we have for the future, you know? And I, I just think it's just something that needs to be said, you know, that, you know, it is not a good thing, it is not what it seems, you know, it is not glamorous or, you know, it's not going to make you happy, it's going to make you sad, it really will, and it could kill you, it could literally kill you, you know, people die from eating disorders, and you know, the thing is, you know what you're doing is wrong, and you know that nobody lives like this, but you can't change, there is, I, it's hard to explain uh, to you, because if you haven't been through it, but I know that if you have, you will understand uh, what I'm talking about, um, and you know, people are so quick to judge and say that eating disorders are just attention seeking, you know, people just do it for attention and I guess maybe some people will start by just it being an attention seeking you know because I remember when I was younger and I first developed an eating disorder you know my baby sister had just been born she was getting all the attention you know and I wanted the attention so I would use food to get the attention but I think after a couple of weeks I realized that I didn't want attention anymore I just wanted to be left alone to starve and I think, I don't think anybody could have a real eating disorder and just be doing it for the attention. I just don't think it's physically possible. Um, so to anybody who thinks that it is about attention seeking, I just think you just need to stop and realise that eating disorders are mental illnesses. You know, they're not diets or fads or, you know, anything like that. They are serious mental conditions that can kill people, you know. Just like cancer, you know, you wouldn't just tell someone with cancer to get over it or, you know, with same way you can't just tell someone with anorexia to just eat, you know, it does not work like that. Um, so what I wanted to achieve from this video, uh, as well as kind of trying to educate people on this subject, is that I wanted to help. I wanted to hopefully have a girl who is on the edge of developing an eating disorder who can see this and realize what she's doing and change before it's too late or maybe even a girl with an eating disorder who can feel not feel less alone from seeing this um so if you are wanting to change and you are wanting to become anorexic uh, to lose weight, please, please, please just realise that once you're in, you can't get out and you will never have a normal life and it will ruin everything and I just, you don't, you don't need to do it, you can go out, you know, eat fruit and vegetables, drink lots of water, work out, you know, you can do it the right way. You don't need to starve or make yourself sick or do ridiculous amounts of exercise because that's just not the way you have to do it. And just please realize that you could kill yourself if you carry on. Um, and for those girls who are seeing this and are already in the clutches of an eating disorder and maybe it's too late to turn back you know, and let, if you haven't got help already, please talk to somebody and, you know, even me, I can ha try and help, you know, because I just, I felt so alone um, in my eating disorder and I turned to it for help, you know, I turned to it for comfort 
but I don't want people to have to do that. I want you to realise that I'm here um, and I understand and I will always try and help if I can. Um, so I guess that's really it. People, people need to realise that people that eating disorders can take lives and destroy lives and they are not a good thing in the slightest and for anybody who has them I know they will agree and they're not to be glamorized and they're not to be publicized positively you know people need to be taught the realities before it's too late and there are far too many cases lately where there's just nothing that can be done because they haven't been told soon enough and um, I just, I really wanted people to, to try and understand that, so um, 